Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do another Warcraft character. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, let's draw this, but super quick. Let's see how it goes. Just kind of, kind of wing it. It's kind of a cool looking character. Uh, nothing in particular, I'm not even sure what his name is, but, <laughs> but let's just draw. I mean, this is kind of cool. This is almost like a, I don't know, you can call it kind of a warm up type of drawing. So some accuracy, and but you just kind of go with it. And there's some really cool lighting going on here, which is kind of what attracted me to this image. It's just kind of under, under lighting from the bottom. Right, let's just keep going, the nose. So sometimes with this kind of dramatic lighting, uh, you could get some pretty cool effect, you know, in terms of drawing. It's a little bit more interesting, you know, when it's different. All right, I'm just gonna shade it along, keep going. Don't think too much. Uh, try to adjust for things as I go. Not a time drawing, but I just kind of, I don't know, I, I like the lighting. Could be fun. So this is, you know, this is the kind of stuff you can do. Uh, it's a really good warm up. you know, if you're gonna do something more serious. Uh, again, I mean, this this in itself could be a really good practice. I mean, there's not. But the point is, uh, when you're doing this, don't care too much about it. <laughs> it's so important. Just kind of go, you know, whatever you see. Like right here, the lip, I'm just going to make it darker. Uh teeth right here. Okay, another teeth right here. I mean, if it's off, you know, just, just keep going, you know, it doesn't really matter. One is to get try to get the feel of the you know the original image right what is it there's a certain emotion to it uh, I know it's a CG image it might be a little bit dead but um, the lighting makes it cool so and this is the time you know where you can really practice this kind of shading very loosely just kind of see how I'm just kind of roughing it in like bam 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 you know straight line straight line straight line just if you know it's dark, just go. And then if it's darker, just hit it again. You know, like this is a little bit darker inside the face right here because it's casting a shadow. So the hair's right here, this is dark. Right? And then this casts a shadow, I make it a little bit darker. And then we can just go from there. And then under lighting, we know this part is darker. This part is darker. I can turn my pencil this way so I can get an easier gradation. Okay, let's keep going. His eyes. Oops. All right. <laughs> it happens. Okay. I made this eyelid a little bit too low. But again, let's just keep going. I can always erase it out later. Not a big deal. So under lighting, the top of the nose needs to be dark. here and the reason why it's it's good to do different lightings is you know you kind of learn uh, a little bit you know on, on the facial structure a little bit more because it, uh, the lighting is so different and it's not something you're used to seeing you know you do you do um, you kind of have to pay attention to a little bit more and you pick up little Little, uh, little, uh, how do you call it? Like little points, you know, here and there about the face. And then if you do enough of it, you know, you're gonna end up, uh, you know, knowing the, the features of the face pretty well. And so then, you know, later on, you can actually draw without reference. And that's re really how people are able to draw without reference really well. And it's, that's because, you know, they, they've drawn it a lot of times. It's just, it's like so easy for them. You know, they, they've done it over the head, in, inside their head so many times that they can actually look at a piece of paper and say, okay, I know this is gonna be the head. And then they e immediately know where the lighting goes, right? And they're just kind of repeating that. And I kind of get that too sometimes when I'm, when I'm drawing. It's like, I, I actually remember faces that I've drawn in the past. 
and I remember, oh yeah, you know, there's this light here, there's this shadow here, this. So it's kind of weird. Um, you actually remember what you've drawn, and then, and you remember that you know what you what you've done in those certain areas, and that's what kind of helps you. Okay, let me see. All right, let's go down to the keep going down. So it doesn't look like I'm off by that much, which is good. Uh, there's a lot of little shading here. Let's just try to get the effect of the under lighting. This looks like some rim lighting right here into, between the hair, which is kind of, yeah, it's a little odd. Maybe big chin. All right. Sorry that I have to pause once in a while because I need to see if I'm still in camera. Okay. Uh, I am using a 6B pencil. You can probably tell because it's so soft and it covers a very large area, very fast. Great for this kind of sketching. Um, you know, try not to use too hard of a pencil for this kind of quick sketch because it just takes a little bit too long and you, you really ne never get into the feel of it. You know, you, the, the groove of with these hard pencils as you would with this kind of a soft pencil. It's really important. I mean, you know, if you have opportunity to pick one up in an art store or something, just, just get one or whatever. It is really good. I mean, you, you, when you're drawing with it, you know, you can feel the difference. You can just feel like, wow, this is like one stroke and I can cover up that area. It just frees your mind. You know. Okay, let's see this Terminator here, which is important. But again, this is a little bit odd area right here. Um, I don't know. I think even if I draw correctly, sometimes it might look like a mistake just because it's kind of a strange lighting scenario. Okay, let's go back up. So now I have the basic layer. Uh, I, now I'm going in and kind of highlighting some of the edges a little bit more, just so I can, you know, a little bit tighter in the shading. I'll make a big difference, like right here. Now I'm seeing little things. Okay, it's brow. This part darker, so it gives it. You see that little gradation right there, All right? So it kind of it kind of cuffs this whole area, and which is what it's supposed to do because the light's coming from the bottom. So like this area is darker. So now it's kind of refining. And this will really help to sell the lighting scenario. Like right here, the nose. Okay, this is darker. But you see, I didn't, I didn't do that at the beginning, right? Because I kind of just want to get the overall, you know, shading first. Just a little bit. The eye area, yeah, I might have to... Well, we'll see. We'll just keep going. Okay, the under lighting, so the lower lip, lower uh, lid's going to be a little bit darker. So you, just, you start seeing like little things more and more. So like here, this needs to be grade A. Gradation coming this way. Right, like so right here. Gradation coming this way. Okay, let's go back to the nose a little bit. I'm just... I'm just jumping around whatever I see. So like this needs to be a little bit darker. So now 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 I'm starting to feel it, right? Now you can start to feel the uh the lighting a little bit more. It just at the beginning it was just so rough. Okay, and then this is darker here, this is darker. And this, this kind of face is actually really cool for this kind of quick sketching because, again, it's kind of like a monster, a little bit rougher, his hair. Let's give it some quick strands right here, not too much. Just to give the suggestion that, it, that we're drawing here. Okay, his ear, I'm not going to pay too much attention to it right now. Not as important. Right, let's go down to his. I don't know what this part is important to get dark because it brings out the, the teeth. It's whatever his fangs. Okay. 
Okay, let's see if we can go in a little bit more. Fine detailing. Lower lip. Okay, see, I didn't even see this at the beginning, but the lower lip needs to be darker than the upper lip. And because, you know, it's a different lighting situation, we're not, we're not used to seeing that, right? We're usually seeing the top lip a little bit lighter. So that's what I mean. This light, different lighting situation will help you, uh, will force you to see things differently. Okay. Yeah, so it's actually turning out okay. That's good. Yes, with these quick sketching, quick sketching, sometimes you're really not sure if it will actually develop, but luckily it did enough, good enough to keep continuing. If not, I would have just thrown it away. <laughs> and you should do that, by the way. If it starts out too bad, just throw it away, start over, whatever. Nose ring, shadowing on the nose ring. This nose here needs to be even darker. Not that everything else is darker. This part is super dark. So we need to make sure we emphasize that. And then this part is dark. This hair. Let's see his chin. Yeah, we should probably do well, I'm not sure what's going on here. It looks like, well, this part is dark. Looks like it's got some metal stuff going on here. So we can just shade it. This will be uh, almost like just framing, you know. It's not necessarily, we're not trying to draw too much here, but we just kind of want to frame the character. Like right here, it needs to be dark. Yeah, I'm really hitting the pencil really hard. I'm going to have to get some new 6Bs because they do run out really fast. And there's, some, there's some shadowing here going on, a little bit more detailed. Okay, so this part is dark, but not as dark. That just kind of throws me off here a little bit. Okay, let's see, dark hair. Okay, let's go back to this side. Let's see, shoulder around here. Again, not too much uh, stuff. Don't draw too much here because again, it's a rough sketch. I'm concentrating here. So I'm just gonna outline that, shade it a little bit and that's, that's probably good enough. Um, because if you do too much here, it's gonna distract from the face and you can have to, if you do too much here, then you have to do more here. So it's just kind of like, you know, how much do you want to do, right? All right, let's, let's, well, let's, let's finish up the hair a little bit on the top so that it doesn't look so weird. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on up here. Looks like it's got some kind of design and hair kind of tied up at the top. It's probably okay if I leave it as it is. It is rough. All right, so at this point, uh, I guess it's almost done. Just what, what's, what's good at this point is, is take another pass at it and look at what is really dark and just try to balance it out a little bit. Like I know this is dark. You know, we see like this terminator here is dark. So this is really important actually and I missed it. So this area needs to be darker. So that you get this nice curvature here. And it is, it is important because now we, we, you know, it's kind of like the egg shape, right? It's like if you're shading an egg, you have this nice terminator here, and this this is what it, what is important. So I'm just gonna go in and see, like this eyes in here is a little bit darker because it's sunken in. So little things like that will come come about as you're drawing, uh, but you won't necessarily see all that at the beginning. And if you do, that's great. But if you don't, it's okay. It's just just keep going, and as as you keep drawing, you're gonna you're gonna see those little things. Okay, so let's see. This is dark here. I can hit it again. Okay, this is dark underneath here. There's something 
looks like some moon nose rings darker darker this needs to be darker and I'm almost like screening my eyes right now looking at the reference just so that I can see the ba bigger picture that, the, that way I can go in and you know hit those big areas again just so that I can kind of unify the whole thing a little bit and again down here there's a lot of little things so I can you can just kind of I don't know just kind of rough it out to see a little bit of it and just kind of rough it out. I don't want to go into too much detail. Okay. So I think that's it. Uh, I'll look at this again later and uh, I might touch it up a little bit just to maybe unify it a little bit more. But other than that, yeah, I'm just, you know, I, I like the looseness of this and it's a really good way to draw. Just kind of relax. Okay. All right, I'll be right back and uh, show you how it looks. Alright, I'm back and here's my final drawing for this chrome and I think I kind of show you everything on screen with the speed drawing already but mainly what I've done is just you know with a 4B and a 6B and sharpen up the edges and just kind of go in and smooth out you know certain areas you know, and start giving it a little bit more uh, form and structure so you can feel the shape a little bit better but everything is I mean all the hard work is done you know, at, at the beginning because once you lay down the foundation this part is actually a lot of fun and it's just pretty easy. Uh, it's just a lot of observation and going back and forth. So I think overall, yeah, it turned out okay. You know, it kind of looks like a pretty cool org. So hope you guys like this drawing and uh, give it a shot, see how it goes, and I will see you next time.